Good afternoon. Welcome back to Ruth Farms. It's Monday, June 12th. Pretty day. Supposed to have had some rain this evening, but we didn't get it again. Didn't get hardly any yesterday. We're getting dry. We need some rain bad. Um, corn's still doing pretty good, but it's needing a, needing a shot of rain. Uh, itinerary for this afternoon, we're going to get the combine out, out, get it down here to the shop, and work on getting it prepared for wheat harvest. We've got some neighbors that say they might try towards the end of the week, so we'll look. I don't think ours will be ready. I think it's probably going to be next week, but we're going to try to have everything ready to go if it is. So we're up here in the combine shed. I'm on the John Deere 6620 combine. I'm going to check her oil. Looks to me to be good. We're actually going to change it. been a while since this thing's been cranked, so hopefully it'll crank. Turn, battery terminals don't look terrible. Yeah, they're pretty corroded, ain't it? Oh, go crank right up. I'm really shocked. Jack's having a fit down there. He wants to be in this combine with his daddy. We're going to get this thing get her out and get her uh, corn hitter under. That's another project coming up. we got to get it ready. It's, uh, we bought it last fall. Well, I guess last winter technically. We had not had time to look over it and check it. Got it in the position that we load dump trucks with or our semi with. We're gonna flip it around so that end is up on top of that bin. That way it'll be out of our way, a lot less likely for us to hit it with the top of the combine. So we are going to work on now. We got these bolts with these big washers. They go in these holes here. There's, I think, it's six of them down the head. What that does, that bolts his head from right now. It flexes. It bolts it up flat. So this this part don't flex. Cause this header, when it's riding on soybeans, it's riding on the ground. It's trying to follow the contour of the ground as closely as it can. On wheat, we're going to be cutting. Approximately pretend this is the ground. We're gonna be cutting about here. So we don't want this thing flexing We want it to be rigid all the way across. So that's what we're doing here We're gonna bolt this thing up and that will give us our rigid effect I got to bolt these things on and I forgot and I poured it through. You gotta blow out between the two plates. Saw all the dust falling out and that made me think of it. So first things first, we need to get that dust and dirt blew out between them. That way we don't stress anything if there's a bunch of wadded up dust and sticks and debris. All 
I just love soybean dust. Makes you itch all over. The only way to get it off is take a shower. Ugh. All right, we got the header bolted up. Don't know if y'all can tell on camera now. But this, um, this here used to be more like that, and that allowed it to flex. Now we've squished it together all the way down. That's thanks to these big bolts and washers right here, there, 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 and there. Six total. So that's one of several jobs to do done. Important note. Always, when you're taking these on and off, remember which wrenches and how many wrenches and bolts and nuts and washers and all that you brought out here. Because if you leave this down in there, or especially something like that, it's going to be expensive when it goes all the way through the machine. Alright, so our next point of contact, if you will, our next job is to remove this chopper. So this, the purpose of this piece of equipment on here, this right here, the um, main parts of your straw come up, your straw walkers, which are up in here. So I'm sitting there bouncing up and down, fumbling the straw. It falls down in here, all right? When it falls down in there, let me see if I can get a picture. All right. So you've got these teeth right here. These are your chopper blades. These little holes over here in the back, back in there, those have knives that stick through usually. You back them out with corn. The last thing we ran was corn. So these things will be pushed in there for like um, soybeans and if you weren't going to bale a straw for wheat. And these knives right here go right between those knives and that's what chops your straw up. That's what makes it into fine, a lot finer pieces than just a whole, you know, three or four foot long piece of straw. So we, um, we bale our straw and sell it during the winter. So we have to take this piece off. There's a couple bolts here, one there. Couple bolts here, here. We gotta take the belt and these covers off. And then we also have to take this straw spreader off. So this thing's all that straw from here, mainly from here, um, falls off here and then this slings it. This is your more fine pieces of straw which don't necessarily have to go through the chopper to be fine. Um, so this slings it, but we're taking all this off. That comes off, all this comes off. And one thing we learned when we first done it, our first year, when you unhook this and take this off, these two lines here, you actually have to hook this one to this one and then leave your flow alone because if you just leave them off or even if you connect them and turn the flow off at the valve, it don't cause your hydraulics to get hot. sensor right here this is your straw chopper I guess like a speed sensor basically tells that the chopper is turning when you want it to be turning we're taking it off so we don't want it to turn so you gotta take this off and then you reach up in here there's a plug this goes in you plug these two up together let me figure out where I can match you guys You gotta plug these two up together. And then take and shove them. I usually take and shove them. There's a little place up in here. I think I can. Yeah, there's all this dust in there. Shove that up in there and then it can't get into anything. It's spinny, turning your crushing thing. All right, so that's done. While I'm up in here, I could go ahead and take the corn cob husk. So there's these, this shield right here on the inside of the chopper, it has to come off. It's this, the two bolts here loosen it. This will slide over, same thing over there, and then this will pick up.
Okay, all the chopper bolts are out. All these shields, the belt. There's a guard here that helps hold the hold keep stuff from building up inside the the V pulley here, like dirt and trash. All that stuff's off. So this chopper, as far as I know, is ready to come off beforehand. We got to take this uh, chaff spreader off, which is just uh, you loosen up this set screw right here. Take these hydraulic hose connectors here loose and, it, and loose, loosen that set screw and that will um, free that up, pull that off with a skid steer, get the skid steer up under here and two of us will pull this off, lay it on the skid steer and then lay it on a pallet. Alright y'all, we're probably done for the night. It's getting pretty late, it's probably 8.30 or so. Actually 8.45. So we got the combine, we got the corn head off, we got the grain head on, we got the uh, sickle section, we got it bolted up tight. We got everything hooked back up. Not sure, y'all might have saw part of that on the time lapse, I can't remember. I gotta get my chains that go here. They're up in the cab, gotta get them put on. I got my pins hooked. Got all these hydraulic hoses hooked back both sides. Coleman has been working on getting it serviced. I got the chopper, straw, sp straw spreader. All this is off. I just gotta pull it out and get there. All that stuff's off, so it's one less thing to do. I've got to see about tightening that chain or removing a link. Not sure which. I think there's a little more adjustment up top. I've got to try that. Got to get everything greased after we wash it. Probably going to try to wash everything off. Get everything greased. Go over a few things that need to be addressed. And I think we'll be ready for wheat harvest here in probably a week, I would say. We might have some towards the end of the week, but I would say a good week we'll be hitting it pretty hard. So until then, see you guys.